Hello, so this is to show you how to download, or sorry, add the extension TronLink to your Chrome browser. So if you open a new tab by clicking on the plus, and then you can come to your URL bar, and if you type in Chrome extensions, like that, click enter, and that will bring you to the search page here. So now if you just scroll down, and you can see the option right there, Chrome extensions. So click on that. Oh, okay, that was the wrong one. So let's close that down. Let's do the same thing again. So it wasn't that one. If we scroll, there you go. You're looking for this one here. Make sure it says chromegoogle.com on there. Chrome Web Store. And then tap in here where it says Search Store and just type TronLink and then hit Enter. And then you'll get this pop up. So all you need to do now is click on that. And then here it will say Add to Chrome. You'll click Add to Chrome. And then there'll be a second pop up to confirm. And you confirm and then it will come into your extensions list so what you then do is click the, the jigsaw puzzle and then just like metamask you'll see it all in this list here all you'll do is click the pin and if you look if you can see it where are you there you go look you can see tron link and i've got it pinned and that means even when i close down extensions it stays in the toolbar. And now all you need to do is open that up. And again, you're going to go through the same process as you did when you opened up MetaMask. You'll open a new wallet, or if you have an existing wallet, you'll click Import Existing Wallet and add your 12 words. And if you're opening a new wallet, as you go through the process, it will give you 12 words which you must not give to anybody and you must not lose. Um, so this is your wallet. This is your um, wallet address right here. Okay, so you click on that and that will copy your wallet address and you can send that to somebody. Okay, if you want to open additional accounts, you can click on this and then you can add wallet. So you can add more than one account, as many as you want, just like MetaMask. This is very much the same interface as MetaMask. So what you want to do now is you want to set, for now, we're using TronLink. I believe Chavez is going to be introducing the Binance Smart Chain, which will make all these transactions much, much cheaper. But for now, we're using TronLink. So you're going to need to send into here around $100 worth of Tron to cover expenses, because when you bridge across from here to the BTC20 network, it's going to cost you anywhere from 5 to $10, depending on how much you're sending, on how much you're bridging, the time of day, how busy it is. So you don't want to be doing, you want to plan ahead. You don't want to be doing this for too long, leaving it too long. At, sorry, you don't want to be doing too little. If you send $10 and it costs you $5, it's not worth it. So you want to collect up your USDT. I think these these USDTs were already here. I don't recall adding them. Okay. But you can have a look around here. If you want to send, then you can send it to people just by clicking send. You know, and then you can put in the wallet address. Same sort of thing. There's very little difference between here and MetaMask, to be honest. Okay. So um, let's have a look what's up in this corner here. Let's click these three dots. Oh, look, you can view and explore. I see very limit, very little difference. OK, so that's how you add Tron link. Um, and I am now going to be showing you how to use the bridge. OK, so this is how you use the bridge. So again, open a tab. By clicking the plus. And then type in bridge.bitcoincode.technology. 
Okay, make sure you spell it right. And that will bring you to this page. And then up in this corner, it's going to ask you to connect to your wallet. So you'll connect to the TronLink wallet. Okay, and then double check that the address is correct, just in case if you've opened multiple accounts in TronLink, you may have connected to the wrong one. So make sure you connect to the correct one. And then here, if you've already got your 100, uh, your USDT in there, because remember, okay, the Tron, the Tron that you put in is only to cover fees. So you're also going to need to transfer in any USDT that you want to be transferred. Okay. So you'll put in, yeah, so you'll add in your USDT. Any USDT or Tron that you transfer into this wallet must be done via the TRC20 network. Otherwise, you'll lose it. So make sure you send it in via the TRC20 network. And when you do the bridge, then if you're sending, say, here 60 USDT, I can send the whole 60 USDT and it will land in... Uh, in my BTC20 wallet, but the fee for that will be taken from the Tron. So you need to keep your eye on this while we're using this, because if this drops to sort of $40, $50, you're going to need to top it up, which means you need to be smart about how you're doing your bridging, how much, you know, don't, I wouldn't, if you can, if you've got team and they want to send you USDT, then the good idea is to have three, four, five of your team send you their USDT and then you can do it all in one go and then split the, the fee between them so everybody pays a little less fees. Okay, so then you add this into here. So now you can see all you do here is click 60. In this case, that's what I've got in there. Let me check one second. Okay, so I've got $46 of USDT in there. So now you put in, I'm going to put in $60 because that's what I've got in my Tron wallet. And it's already here. So it's going from USDT to USDT. And then you click. Now, you need to be really careful here because if you make a mistake, even when you make a mistake, or even if it doesn't send, if you put, let's say you put zero in here instead of 60 and then you click bridge, you will still be charged. So it's really easy to lose money doing this. So it's really, really important that you're careful and you do this correctly. Okay. So you click bridge and then you'll get this pop up and just check what the fees are. Look, see, I'm not going to send that 60 because it's going to cost me $8. So I'm not going to do that yet. I'll wait until I've got a bit more, till I put some more in there if I need it. So then you would click sign. And then I think you'll get a second pop-up, which will be to confirm it. And then it may show you a sign that it failed. But if you check your MetaMask, if it's in there, it worked. I don't know why, but a couple of times when I've done it, it shows as a failed transaction. And yet it still managed to land in my BTCC wallet. But other than that, there shouldn't be any problems. It seems to work fairly seamlessly. And now keep watching. I'm going to show you how to swap. Okay, so I've just clicked reject. You can see that's rejected. So let me click on there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, keep watching for the how to swap. Hello, and this is how you work the swap site. So now, again, as we always begin, you click on the plus to open a new tab. And then here, you type swap.bitcoincode.technology. You don't need to put the rest in, that'll add it itself. Just type swap.bitcoincode.technology, and that will bring you to this page. Now, BTCC will already be there, but you need to add USDT and B fuel. <clears throat> so if you click, there'll be a drop down here like this little arrow. So if you click this, 
and then you'll need to add the contract address. So you can get that from wherever you want to get it from. So I've got it saved here. So this is, I'll copy that. Okay, and now I can go back to the swap site. Um, let's remove these. So when you first click on it, it's going to look like this. Okay, that doesn't want to remove for some, for some reason, but that's fine. So if you paste the contract address in here, and then just hit enter. That might be the USDT one then. Hold on, let's try and delete that again. Okay, maybe it can't do it because it's got the USDT in there. Uh, let's get the other one. Oh, no, that's why. <laughs> there we go. I, I see what I've done. I copied the wrong address. My apologies. So now you copy the address. And then you paste. And there it is, B Fuel. So you just click Add. And now if I close that down. then you'll see if I click here, it now adds B fuel. When you do the same, get the USDT address, and then you click that, put the contract address in there, and close that down, okay? So if you click this little arrow here, that'll bring you this section here. You put the contract address in here, and then click add, and then click X. Nice and easy, okay? And now, you can see, because it's connected to the, your MetaMask, and you can see here, it's connected to my MetaMask, it already knows how much BTCC you've got. So, what do I want to do? I want to swap BTCC to BFuel. And I can, if I want to, if I click there, I can change that currency. And I can swap from USDT to BTCC, or I can swap USDT to BFuel, and I'm going to swap BTCC to BFuel. So again, this will make it um, self-funding. As long as you don't spend more BFuel than you have in your wallet, you should be all, all right. So you can see here I've got 0 0.75, 0 0.765, and I've got 12.94 of, B, of BFuel. So if I just type in here, 0. Point, uh, let's go with 0. 0.2. OK, and it can see it's going to give me 359 B fuel, right? So I click swap, click confirm, and then it asks for my permission. So I click confirm. And now that transaction is processing. You, look, you can see there. And that's done. So now I can click close. And you can see now I've got more B fuel. Dead easy, as straightforward as that. That now automatically shows in your MetaMask. Oh, click. This one seems to bring me here automatically. So if I click tokens, and I can see here how much BTC I've got, how much B fuel I've now got, and how much USDT I've got. Okay? And that's it. Dead straightforward. And then I'm going to show you how to harvest. Okay, so this is how you harvest. So again, click on a new tab and type bitcoin.technology and that will bring you to this page. So you can open all three tabs right at the beginning. Open up the bridge, open up the swap and open up this one, the, the DAP. Okay, so now uh, you obviously up here. It'll probably ask you to connect to your wallet if it, if you're not already connected. So you'll tap connect to wallet, and now that will link to your wallet. So now, if you click on mine, and that should bring you to this page. 
and you can see here I've got 243 in B fuel consumption. Okay, so now if I just show you a couple of bits. So if you come to this page, on your phone it's a different layout, but the wording is all the same. If you look through here, there's loads of information on here. But if you scroll down, okay, here we go. So you can see this one here, B fuel consumption net worth. This is currently the dollar amount of B fuel that I've used. So that's how much I need to I need in order to be able to harvest in dollar amount. Okay? The amount of B fuel used is 243 and that dollar amount is $3. And uh, the amount of BTCC, where are you? My mind BTCC is 0 0.096. And the dollar amount worth of that is $2.45. Is that right? Yes, $2.45. So you can see right now, it's going to cost me $3 to harvest that mind BTCC. But that's okay. At this stage, it doesn't really matter because you're only regurgitating the same USDT over and over and over. So it's still, you're making profit on it because you're not really spending it because you're mining BTCC, which you'll turn into US, into B fuel that you'll then harvest from. Not only that, there are going to be days when BTCC is way, way above the value of what you're spending in in B fuel. The real value is determined when you swap it from BTCC into USDT. So don't worry too much if this number is slightly higher than this much than this one. Okay. So now, if we go to dashboard, sorry, I was on. Let's go to. I was already on dashboard, wasn't I? Let's go to mine. And now you go to harvest and I'll click harvest. Harvesting costs you one cent or a little bit less. You get this pop up, you click confirm and you can see it's processing. And that's now harvested. That has now all gone into my MetaMask. You can see here, my amount of BTCC has gone up and my amount of B fuel has gone down. And that is the entire process from start to finish. And if there's anything that I've missed out, as always, let me know. Thanks for watching.